Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a 40 minute upper body workout. This one is going to be challenging, but I think you can do it. For this workout, you don't need any equipment, and how it's structured, we have a quick warm up, then we have like, I don't know, five minutes of pulsing. Now, if you did my five minute pulsing arms workout, that's basically what it is. It's just a quick little thing to get your arms, muscles activated, get them working, and then we're gonna dive into the workout. And the workout is going to be 10 exercises, all body weight, um, and then we're gonna do that three times. And this is really great because if you're more of a beginner, um, you could just do those 10 exercises once or twice and don't do the whole three rounds and then skip to the cool down. And the cool down is just gonna be some nice stretches to stretch out your upper body. So this is doable for all levels. I will try to give modifications as I go. But without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so for the first warm-up move, we're just going to swing our arms like this. Here we go. So this is going to warm up your chest and your biceps a bit. If you're giving yourself a hug and then swinging your arms out. Each warm-up move is going to be for 30 seconds. This gives you enough time to get into the move, get all loosened up. This. We got some shoulder rolls. Here we go. We're going to be using our shoulders a lot today, so it's really important to warm them up. Alright, now go to the front or whichever direction you weren't going before. In five seconds, we're going to do some cross punches. Here we go. This is warming up your arms still, but also a little bit of your abs. And pivot that foot whenever you punch. After this, we're just going to go into a few stretches to warm up the upper body. And then we're going to go into the pulsing part. So in three seconds, we're going to do a bicep stretch. Here we go. So grab the palm of your hand and push your elbow to the ceiling. This is a really simple stretch to warm up your bicep. I'm just going to hold it here for 15 seconds. Next, we're going to go into a shoulder stretch. You can move around in these. I actually recommend it. So just kind of move your arm up and down. Especially since we are still warming up, this is really good to move in your stretches. All right, and finally, go into that bice or that tricep stretch. Pull your arm over. You also might feel this if you're sore in your lats right here. Alrighty, now we're just gonna do that all on the other arm, starting with your bicep stretch. shoulder stretch or you can move around in this find where you get the best stretch alrighty and then the tricep alrighty so we're gonna go right into some arm circles Let's go. So we're just gonna do some little arm circles going to the back or to the front, doesn't really matter. Each one of these pulsing moves is going to be for 30 seconds. And like I said, it's gonna be around like five minutes of pulsing. This is just gonna get your upper body warmed up. Five seconds we're gonna do little beats going up to the ceiling here we go pulse up just little pulses little beats going up to the ceiling you're gonna feel this a little bit in your biceps obviously in your shoulders just breathe this might seem easy now but we're gonna be here for a while so I just want you to take your time really get 
Just keep breathing. In five seconds, we're going to push down. So do that pulsing down. Here we go. Whew. Maybe starting to feel a little bit more. We have just a few minutes left of this. Don't worry, guys. We're already like a minute and 15 seconds in. You got this. In 10 seconds, we're going to beat to the front. So we did up and down, go front, and then we're going to go back next. Alrighty, here we go, beat to the front. Woo, I'm really starting to feel it. You're going to get your chest and your biceps doing this one. Also your shoulders are just going to be dead by the end of this, but that's okay. If you're really having a hard time, you can always drop in between each set. But I really want you to keep your arms up as long as possible. Five seconds, we're gonna go to the back. Alrighty, push to the back now. Whew. Halfway there, keep going. I know it's hard. The next move is a little bit easier, a little more release on your shoulders. Five seconds. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Alrighty, so now I want you to tap your shoulders and lift your arms out. In this, I want you to keep your elbows at the same level, so don't let them drop as you tap your shoulders. This you're going to feel in your biceps, a little bit in your shoulders, too. release because it's like a different angle still hurts but you know a little bit different after this in five seconds we're going to do some prayer pulses Alrighty, here we go bring your elbows and your hands together and pulse up Whew! you get those shoulders and biceps burning halfway there we only got three moves after this. Three moves. It's not that bad. In five seconds, we're going to do alternating up and down beats. Here we go. Push up, push down. left guys keep pushing alrighty so for the last one have one hand out and then the other one just do a big circle and then stop yourself oh it's the one the arm that's not doing anything that's the one that really burns keep going guys we've got 15 seconds left then we're gonna switch arms Four, three, two, and one. Switch arms. Come on, guys. This is our last pulsing move like this. And then we're going down to the ground. And on the ground, we get our breaks. So it's a little bit easier. <laughs> Ten seconds, guys. One, huh. Huh. ouch, right here, this is what, this is where it really hurts. Alrighty, so now we're gonna head to the ground, and like I said, we have 10 exercises, for 45 seconds on, we have a quick 15 second break, and then we're gonna go to the next one, and then we're gonna just do that for three rounds. So let's head to the ground. Alrighty, so the first move is going to be a Superman row kind of thing. So you're gonna be in your Superman, and you're just going to row one arm back at a time. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. So engage your core, lift your arms, row one back and the other. You can always, if you feel like it's getting really hard, to lower down for a second and then come back up. Really squeeze those back muscles. 
Squeeze your glutes here as well. to a pipe push-up. We got this. We're going in three, two, one. Come into your plank. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. You can do a push-up from your knees or your toes. Then shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Go into a little pike sit. Do a pike push-up. Here we go. Keep good form in that plank. Don't want to see your hips going towards the sky. 15 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right. Next up, we got a tricep dip. For this one, every time you dip down, you can walk your feet out just a step and then walk them back in the next time. All right, let's go. So tricep dip, tricep dip. Walk your feet out a step. Tricep dip, you're gonna feel a big change. Then walk them back in. The reason I like doing this is because you are only doing two tricep dips with your feet out. So it is challenging, but it's doable. And so you're just pushing yourself just a little bit. And just, this totally depends on how far you want your legs to be away. So if they're out here and then you want to bring them out here, if you want to bring them straight, whatever you want to do. We got 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Relax. All righty, so far, the next one, we got four push-up pulses to a side plank. We got this, everybody. Here we go. I'm going to try this on my toes. One, two, three, four. So you're not doing a full push-up. Come up, side plank. So you're just pulsing. Keep your abs in tight. Twenty seconds, guys. Five seconds left. Keep pushing and relax. Whew, that was challenging. Alrighty, next up, we got some pike shoulder taps. So you're gonna be in this position and we're gonna just do shoulder taps. Here we go. So in this, I want you to put as little pressure on your hands or on your feet as possible. It's mostly in your hands. If this is really hard, just hold this position. So come into a plank, bring one arm to the center, put the other arm behind your back. We're just going to hold it here. Just breathe. If this is really difficult, just do a two arm plank. That's completely fine. We're 
stretch your abs too. I was like, whew, 15 seconds, guys. Keep going. Don't drop. Five, three, two, and one. Relax. Okay, we're gonna do the other arm now. This is killer. Whew. Alrighty, let's go. Come up. If this is getting really hard, you can put your other hand down to assist. So just put like your fingers down, but it's not the main, you're not putting a ton of weight on the other arm. Got this 20 seconds left. Whew. Keep going. Don't stop. And always put your hand down to assist you if you need to. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay. Shake out your arms. Next, we just got a push up. Go down, Superman. A little more basic. And roll out your wrists after that if you need to. Let's go. So push up down, reach your arms up, Superman, and come back up. seconds. Try to go slowly on the way down so you're not just falling. Five, four, three, two, and one. Alrighty. Next we got a plank row. You don't need any weights for this. Just row in your plank two times and then you're going to go into a bear hold two shoulder taps here we go row row go into a plank shoulder tap shoulder tap so the bear hold as well as the plank honestly are full body moves but Especially since your upper body is pretty tired, you're definitely going to feel it in your arms. 15 seconds. Five. Two and one. Whew. Alrighty, so finally we just got some three pulse tricep dips. I'm gonna quickly fix my hair because it's getting in my face. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. So just do those tricep dips with three pulses. I'm really gonna put up my hair first. <laughs> Alright. I know your triceps are burning, but you got this. Each time you pulse, get a little bit lower. So don't just like stay here. Go one two, three, and up. If you want to make this harder, kind of do what we did with those other tricep dips. So step your legs out just a little bit or go straight legged. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Alrighty, that was round one. So now we're just going to start from the beginning, starting with those Superman pullbacks. I don't know if my hair looks crazy, but it's all good. Alrighty, let's go. Lay down on your stomach. Pull back one arm and the other. This is working your upper back. Whew. You want to just rest one hand on the ground as a modification. That's fine. I encourage you to try and lift that hand off the ground. It's going to make it 
harder. But we're not here for easy, an easy workout. 15 seconds. Whew. Shoulder taps to what? Shoulder taps to push up to pike push up. Let's go. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push up. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, pike push up. That pike push up is so good for your shoulders. And for a modification, just don't go as low. If you want to, you can do the shoulder taps on your knees. And I'm doing the push-ups on my knees. 15 seconds. Five seconds, guys. And relax. Alrighty, next up you got the tricep dips where you walk your legs out. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Do two, then walk your legs out. I'm also feeling this in my hamstrings a bit. Could also be that I did a really hard leg workout yesterday, but you do use a little bit of your legs in there as well, so you're getting full body in this. Woo! Keep going guys, 20 seconds. Five seconds, keep pushing. Give it everything you got and relax. Oh my. Okay, next we got the four push-up pulses to the side plank. This one I'm gonna do on my knees. I did it on my toes in the first round, but you know, sometimes you just gotta modify. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Side plank. shoulder taps. Remember you can always just do this. Just hold that pike position. Three, two, one. Let's go. Really push as much weight as you can into your hands as you can safely do so. So if you need to have your heels more on the ground, that's fine. Just as long as you're feeling it in that upper body. If you're not really feeling it, I want you to add even more pressure to your upper body. You could also do this with your feet elevated like this. Makes it a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, we got 15 seconds left. So if you wanted to level this up, you can put your feet against a wall on a chair. So it's really hard for you to put weight into your feet. Three, two, one, relax. Alrighty. Next up, we got the one arm plank. This one is killer. If you need to, you can just do a regular plank. My hair is just wild already. Let's go. You know it burns. Like I said, you can always put like one hand down. So you're not like completely putting all your weight in that hand, but just like have it there for support. It's especially helpful since we have another round after this. Most of the weight 
in that one arm. 15. Three, two, and one. Other arm now. This is killer. Three, two, one. Let's go. So remember, you can always have that hand to support, not to put a ton of weight in, but just to kind of support you. Or if this is just really difficult, just do a regular plank. Twenty seconds. Just breathe. seconds. Do not quit now. Three, two, and one. Oh, alrighty. Next up we got the push-up to Superman. We're nearly done with the second round and we only just got one more round after that. Alrighty. Let's go everybody. Push-up. Come down. Superman. Come up. Twenty-five seconds left. Make sure that when you're coming out of that Superman, that your body is like a board, so it's not peeling up off the mat. Five seconds left. And relax. Alrighty. Next we got the plank rows to the bare shoulder taps. This is our second to last move. Three, two, let's go. Row, row, step it back, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. That's when you know it's burning for me, too. Five seconds, guys. Last one. And relax. We got the tricep dips. And then we only got one more round. I literally have no idea what my hair looks like, but I just can imagine. Alrighty, let's go. One, two, three, up. The sun decided to come out, so that's fun. Really been enjoying more sunny days. Twenty seconds. equipment in this it still burns we got five seconds three two and one. Oh my all right we're gonna start from the top again I'm gonna try and fix my hair really quick we're going in five seconds guys we got those Superman things and you should be going so remember pull that arm back really squeeze your back muscles Twenty 
20 seconds left. everybody keep pushing I knew it burns but this is the last time we have to do it three two and one okay all righty next the shoulder taps to the push-ups and the pipe push-ups three two one let's go tap tap push-up tap Tap, pike push up. Fifteen seconds. We got the tricep dips. I don't love this one, but it's okay. It's getting us stronger. Let's go. Two tricep dips and then walk your legs out. All right, this is our last round, so don't quit now. You've come this far. Why not just push yourself to the finish line? 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. This is the part of the workout. It's all your mind over your muscle. You want to quit, but you're not going to. And relax. There are no quitters here. Others would quit but not you. Alrighty. Next we got the push-up pulses to the side plank. Let's go. And you can do the side plank on your knees or on your toes. It just depends. And like I said, push-up on your knees or on your toes. I've been modifying, but I want to start off at my hardest. So the beginning of this workout I did it on my toes but then as I got tired I went down but I didn't start at the bottom you want to start the very hardest and push yourself and you have to modify after that you can 15 seconds your wrists a bit. They're probably kind of sore. We got the pike shoulder taps. Now this one I might put my feet on a wall just to make it fun. <laughs> Three, two, and one. So if you want to, you can pop your feet up on a wall. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Keep going guys. Everything you got. 15 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Whew. I did it against the wall and it definitely killed me. Alrighty. Got the one arm planks. I know these ones are challenging, but you got this, everybody. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, you can have the other arm hand there for support. Make sure that your hand is directly under your shoulder. Your hips aren't sticking up here. Your hips aren't sticking down either. You gotta be on a nice straight line. 20 seconds. Bye. 
five seconds. Keep going, guys. Three, two, and one. Other arm. After this, we only got three more moves, and then we're done. We're nearly there, guys. You got this. Let's go in three, two, one. Remember, if you need to modify, just go into a regular plank. It's still going to be working your upper body, but I don't want you to just give up. You can also do this on your knees if that's where you need to be. Five seconds. Fifteen. <laughs> it's burning, guys, but you've got this. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. Whew. Alrighty. Next, we have to push up to Superman. After this, we only have two more moves. You got this. This one's a little bit easier for me, so take this time. Still challenging you, but you know, it's just not as bad. <laughs> Let's go. Remember, you can do you can do the push up on your knees or on your toes. I just want you to challenge yourself. left the bear or the plank row to the bear shoulder taps and then we got the three pulse tricep dip let's finish this here we go shoulder tap shoulder or no row row go back shoulder tap shoulder tap Five seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Keep pushing. This is our second to last exercise. You got this. Three, two, and one. All right, flip over. Our last move is those tricep dips. You need to roll out your wrists in between. You can do so, stretch them out. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, up. I want you to push yourself. If you need, if you, this is getting easy, step your feet out just a step. Slow the move down more. Go lower in your dip. Just push yourself, because this is the last move. 20 seconds left, guys. For the last 20 seconds, can you give a little more effort? 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh. Congratulations, guys. You have finished this upper body workout. I hope you're feeling amazing. I'm so proud of you because you made it to the end of this workout. We're going to start our cool down. I'm going to start by just rolling out my wrists. There's a lot of planks, tricep dips, more planks, 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 basically all planks. So it's really important to make sure that our wrists are okay because they got a lot of work. Already switch directions. <coughs> Very nice. Just roll out your shoulder, roll out your wrist. Feels so good. And just breathe. All right. Next, I want you to pull back on your hand like this, so it's kind of going opposite in the direction that it is normally. You're gonna feel a nice stretch 
It's going opposite the direction. So the whole time it was sitting like this, now you get to push it in the opposite direction. Ready, switch. Just breathe. Alrighty, quickly grab a drink. For this next one, I want you to straighten your arms out behind you. This is going to be a stretch in your chest and your biceps and your shoulders. Feeling a nice deep stretch. Kind of sway side to side. Just loosen up those muscles. You did it everybody and I'm so proud of you. Even from the beginning of this workout it was tough but you did it. Alright, come up. Next we're going to do a little tricep stretch. Because as we know, we did those work those a lot today. So I want you to just relax into it. Alrighty. Switch arms. Feel a nice deep stretch in your tricep. We worked those a lot today. over and get a deeper stretch along the side of your body. Alrighty, and then bring it down for a shoulder stretch. Just breathe. Alrighty, switch arms. It's very, very important to stretch out after workouts, and I think a lot of times your upper body stretches can get neglected, so it's very, very important that you take the time, especially since we've worked them so hard today. Just relax. Alrighty, finally, I'm just going to shake out your arms, do a few shoulder rolls, a few arm swings, and that's it for today's workout, everyone. I'm so proud of you that you made it to the end. Great job. I'll be seeing you tomorrow for another workout, so don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment below about what video you'd like me to do next, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys!